So for today, we're going to be looking at the Iron Companion set for the Titans. Hunters, you already have your video. It's right here if you guys want to check that out. Titans, I'm not going to lie to you guys. A lot of these pieces are actually super fire. Specifically, the first one I think is super dope. I like all of these, if I'm being quite honest. The only one I'm like okay with is the chess piece set. But other than that, all these pieces are super dope. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. really does help. I really do appreciate it. Uh, just because a lot of people that come to my channel are actually not subscribed. So... Do me a favor, like, comment, sub really does help. All makes me make more content and really just uh, we've been killing it. This last year was such a good year and I really do appreciate you guys. I'm currently going to make a post about just my thoughts and what's the plan going forward. Um, I might make a video if people ask for it, but overall, I appreciate you guys. I really do. And let's just get into it. Before I get started with the actual pieces, let me just. Uh, remind you guys that if you guys have not seen the iron companion armor set video it's right here we go through the armor the how it shaders my personal thoughts on it and just little things here and there about the armor set so check that video out if you guys haven't seen it but other than that the helmet itself is super dope i love this helmet iron companion helm is legitimately one of the best helmets that the titan ever got period it's just so good and for this one it was really rough because i wanted to go i wanted to go hard with this one i wanted to go like i don't know like medieval almost viking themed and for me i was like all right well a the wolf kiss plate is going to be an easy choice for this because that's as viking as you can get for the arms we're using the ursa furiosas with the ursus meritimus uh, ornament i think it looks super dope but be aware that the ursa furiosa ornament basic look does look good as well but for me i wanted something a little bit more uh not brown i guess even though brown makes more sense for fur but for me like ursus uh maritimus the ornament just looks amazing for the boots we're using the meridian constellation greaves uh a it has fur on the top of the calf and the like engravings almost look like runic in nature so that's why i'm using it as well and then the desolation diver mark uh nothing too crazy here i just wanted a mark that covered the crouch but also had some side to it because uh, the boots actually have like this really weird like uh, design on the right side of the leg and I wanted to have something on the left side to like equal it out. So uh, with the shader we're using Emerita's Dream with the chess piece using the Dusk Mine. So this is where my annoyance with Wolf Kiss Plate comes in because I could not find a shader that had white fur and purple. Uh, Dusk Mine does a pretty good job but the first looks a little too like dirty compared to the ursa meritimus ornament like it's super white so i did find some shaders but i just didn't like the fact that there was no purple in it and the chest plate was just a little bit different than everything else so this is the best i could do hopefully we get some better shaders or honestly i would probably just switch out for like i would probably try to find a shader that has a pure white uh, fur on it and then just shade around there that's probably the best thing the only annoyance is the fact that the arms will retain not only the white but it also has a purple on the pauldrons so that's why like i went with purple because i didn't want to fight the purple so this one is legitimately my favorite from all of these this looks cool and there's still a lot of things you can do hell you can probably just put the wolf kiss plate for the boots as well the wolf case boots and it would still look super dope i just didn't want to use two pieces especially a, a like boots and chest i feel like for hunters and titans specifically if you use those two then at that point you're basically wearing the whole set because it just there's so much of it but that's just me personally but yeah titans let me know what you guys think for the arms this one is pretty cool too because i was not thinking about going into a viking theme and to be quite honest like it's it's more up to the person to like really like decide if this looks viking or not for me it it has like a viking-esque theme to it for the helmet, we're going to be using uh, Mask of the Quiet one. This one is super dope. And I I was thinking about using the ornament, but unfortunately, I'm not really a big fan of the ornament, especially when we don't have a lot of pieces that are damaged armor pieces. We only have like one, I think. Uh, for the chest piece, Meridian Constellation, again, uh, for the fur. For the boots, Jensen Knight Grooves in combination with the Iron Forerunner Mark is super dope because uh it just looks so good like i really can't explain it it's probably the fact that like the thighs have like no armor to them but have a really cool de design and then the boots have this really cool uh like shape to them as well and the mark just covers almost all of them and you can barely see just one side of the leg so for me this one was 
it came pretty fast. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like first I went with the helmet and I was like, all right, I want, I want to use this. The arms obviously I had to use them. But then I was like, well, if, if I'm going to go for like this helmet, I'm going to try to do something like weird. And the Meridian Constellation immediately I was like, oh, this looks pretty good. And then immediately when I saw the fur, I was like, I'm going to try to combine it with a fur mark. And the Iron for Foreigner mark is like my favorite when it comes to that, because there are other fur uh, marks you could use, but a lot of them are not to my taste. And even the Iron Foreigner is not perfect. I don't like the bells on the side. I think that's it's so bad, but I can ignore that because it just all looks really good. And then the arms. Uh, honestly, you could slap any arms on this and it would probably still look good. It's just for me. I just decided I'm not going to fight anything. I just want to do this. And uh, funnily enough, another purple, which I wasn't expecting. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. Again, this one, it's hard because the first one's my favorite, but this one is super close. And in all honesty, if I use Mask of the Quiet one more, I would rock this without a doubt. Maybe switch out the arms, maybe. But overall, this looks really dope. For the chest piece, this is the only one where I was like, it's fine. Like, I don't hate it, but I definitely don't love it either. Uh, and it's also not using an exotic, which is pretty funny. So for the helmet, Neiman Helm was an easy choice because uh, the wings all, like really reminds me of a Viking. I don't know why I went with Vikings in my head for this, but just a lot of pieces just remind me of Vikings. For the arms, raising Meridian Constellation Gauntlets is a pretty easy choice considering the, the pauldrons have like a really runic look to them. So that's why I'm using it. Chest piece, obviously we're using the chest piece for from the Iron Companion plate. For the boots, we're using the Wolf Kiss Greaves because, uh, yeah, again, Viking was just in my head the whole time. Probably because I am working on a Viking themed video. And that's probably why I was just like so into Vikings. And for the mark, we're using Starfarer's mark. Uh, nothing too crazy to think about this one. This was I just slapped a lot of pieces together and I really didn't think too much about it. Uh, funnily enough, another black one and the next one actually has purple. So a lot of black and purple in these sets. I do apologize, but uh, purple is definitely the color that I really go towards with Titans just because they look good with it. But overall, I really like these sets uh, so far. The first and second one are definitely my favorite. Not saying the last one is bad. I actually do like it as well, which let's just get into it for the helmet. Nightly Noir Helm. Easy choice. For the arms using the second chance gauntlets, I think they're called. And the this, this arm's terrible. It's super terrible, but in this design, I actually do like it. For the chest piece, Solstice Plate Resplendent is an easy choice, especially when I'm pairing it with the second chance gauntlets. I just think they're really cool. For the boots, Iron Companion Greaves is, is the one I chose, obviously. And then for the <laughs> Mark, we're using the Wolf Kissed Mark. A lot of Wolf Kissed items have been used in this set. So I do apologize. But I do think the Wolf Kissed Mark looks really good with this set, especially since one side is heavy, which means that the other side has to be heavy as well. And what I mean by that is the right side of the boots has that big ass plate. And I wanted to at least have something on the other side so that way you can even it out. Especially since the arms are also super asymmetrical as well. I wanted to have some like weightiness to it i guess you would say but for the shader we're using royal treatment just because i wanted some gold in there but i also wanted purple as well because these arms you're going to be using for uh void and for me i just like to color coat what subclass i'm using so for example if i'm using like solar a lot of oranges reds uh whites occasionally and then like vice versa for like other things like purples blues um pinks for void and stuff like that so nothing really too much to say about this one this one's gonna be a super short video just because a lot of these just kind of speak for themselves specifically the first and second one i think are super dope uh, not saying that the fourth, third and fourth are bad by any means i think they're super cool it's just that i'm using a lot of pieces that i probably wouldn't use for the third and fourth like for specifically there is no exotic for the third one which i would actually be using an exotic for this Kind of hypocritical when I think about the tight the hunter one that I made in the last video because I didn't use an exotic for that one as well. But the caveat to that was the fact that you could put any almost any exotic on that set and it would still look good because I was going for a, a more hunter look for that. So any hunter looking exotic would look good with that. For the third set, I just think it's like okay. Um 
but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below titans let me know which one is your favorite again i think the first one and the second one are definitely my favorite just because they're both viking themed but they're heavily different where like the first one's like really armored and tanky while the other one's like more slim and like uh agile i guess you would say so yeah titans let me know what you guys think uh be safe and i'll see you guys later